A Russian T-72 tank was dubbed the Turtle, as it was covered on all sides with metal sheets. These tanks also have small electronic warfare systems attached to them. On their Telegram channel, the Ukrainian Operational Strategic Group of Troops, Kortizia, published video footage of an enemy attack. In particular, the Ukrainian military video captured a tank with a new type of anti-drone defense. A metal visor covered the Russian T-72 tank's top and side projections. However, the video does not indicate whether the tank had additional protection in the form of a net or something similar in the front and rear. Judging from the image, the main task of this structure is protection, primarily against FPV strikes. Such a visor can also so protect against UAVs dropping ammunition onto the equipment. Later, the Russians published a video showing how they prepared this tank for the assault. The T-72 received a trapezoidal steel structure, which increased its width and height. They also equipped this tank with a knife-type mine flail. According to the video, the Russian T-72, with a steel visor, managed to retreat to Russian positions. It is unknown whether this tank suffered any damage. So far, it has been an experiment on the ground, rather than a widespread phenomenon. The additional protection in the field is sometimes called mangles. The drone detonates and explodes upon contact with this metal barrier at a certain distance from the tank, the tank armor, and the devices on the tank. Thus, the tank easily withstands the explosive impact, reducing damage. For the first time, continuous protection is provided on the sides and above the tank. These are retractable, lightweight sheets with spaces between them that appear to be hinged. Thanks to this design, the tank appears to be fully protected from all sides. However, the degree of this protection is unclear, because qualified professionals also control FPV drones, and an FPV drone can easily fly into sections of the tank's nose or stern that these steel sheets do not cover. The turtle tank experiment seems to be a coherent progression from the anti-drone visors, colloquially referred to as coop enclosures, that were first observed during this conflict. Now, do you think Turtle T-72 can withstand FPV attacks? Let us know in the comments. We discuss such interesting subjects every day. Please subscribe to the channel and share and like the videos.